It's another beautiful winter's morning in Nina County Tipperary. Just walking on my way to see a wrath, what they're called in Ireland. They are known as forts or enclosures, uh, usually circular with a high, high raised ditch or a mound. There's over 40,000 of them that are uh, still remaining in Ireland. So say they would have been used to keep the cattle, to keep the, the cows and the the sheep, keep them free, keep them safe from the wolves, the predators. So I'll flip my camera on here.
That's me standing inside the middle of the ring fort at the moment. Absolutely beautiful. It's a big space, as you can see from the boundary of the trees. It's where the main detra boundary goes around. I'm in the centre of it now. You could sort of imagine fitting a good number of people in here. Animals, people. The question of alignments is another thing. I'd say a few kilometres from here, in, in that kind of direction there, there's a, a triple uh, rampart, wrath, three massive ditches. Um, they think it's unlike anything that they've seen really in Ireland. They reckon it's the, a royal site, one of the best uh, preserved triple ditches that are uh, left in Ireland. So, just a cruel plan. But even just to come out to these places and feel the energy, feel the magic, there's always a sense of peace and quiet. Except for me, I'm the only one really disturbing this place. But if the, the land could talk, and I'm sure the land does whisper for those whose ears are open to hear it, the secrets and the stories of this wrath, I'm sure there'd be magic. Magic to hear and to tell. I'm just gonna push through here. to get an idea of the depth of the ditch you can see it goes right down there so I'm standing on a good bit of elevation here could be up 10 feet or so 10 15 feet Once again, just to get an idea of the, the depth of this wrath. Let's see if I can walk down there. Silver mines. It's a double enclosure, it seems like. You have this initial part of the raft, and then we have the higher part of the wrath, the elevated part. Like I said, it'd be interesting to get a map and see if there's any alignments. But regardless of alignments, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of these settlements, dwellings, is there astronomical significance? Is there, is there a connection with that? Time will tell.
to visit these places now at different times just to feel the difference of uh, how it feels to be here. I've often found these rafts have a lovely sense of peace. I can only imagine hundreds of years ago surrounded in one of these rafts with a big fire going with the sheep and the, the cows or the cattle around and the stories and the voices around the fire and I'm sure they were busy places but it's funny hundreds of years on and now mostly lying like this left left for the stories to be hidden in the soil amongst the trees and the branches beautiful places That's me just leaving Nina Rath. Let you get a wee sense of what it looks like from the outside. Sometimes you pass these things in the road, you just think just a bunch of trees or a bit of dirt, but I find the history absolutely fascinating or the potential of the stories or the magic, the mystery, what happened in amongst these raths. It's absolutely incredible. We know so little, so Starting to imagine what they were used for, what happened here. Such a massive part of Irish life. Good luck to all here now, barn a cat that sits on the corner that's smelling a rat. Oh, wish your philandering girls and behave and save in your presence, I'll chant you a stave. I come from the land where the pretties grow big and the girls neat and handy will swill in a jing. And the boys that would charm your hearts for to see those rare and fine fellows and tandily gee. So here's to the boys who are happy and gay, singing and dancing and tearing away. Rollicks and frolics and frisky and free with the rollicking boys around Handley Gee. No doubt you have heard of Killarney, I'm sure, and sweet and he's shown for a drop of the pure. Dublin's the place for the strawberry beds and Donnybrook Fair for the cracking of hens. Have you ever seen an Irish man dancing Pultog? How he faces his partner and turns up his brogue? He'll shake at the buckle and bend at the knee, they're wonderful dancers and handy gee. So here's to the boys who are happy and gay, singing and dancing and turning away. Rollicksome, frolicksome, frisky and free, with the rollicking boys around handy gee.